Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, Sagittarian. You are in the um, Taurus season. And I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. All right. Uh, so what is transpiring in the Sagittarian? Um, Sagittarian, this is the season of your financial stability. Okay. So this is the second house. So this um, timeline of the Taurus season have to do with the second house. The second house is about money and your financial stability, okay? So when we think about our money and financial stability for the next year, the year that is coming up, um, we are, and whenever you are in the Taurus season and the Taurus timeline in a year, that is where you recognize what is going to be transpiring with your financial stability, okay? And this is very, very important because here is the second house and here is where you create your financial stability. Here is where you understand what it is um, to create your own wealth and stability. And this is where you are going to be starting to looking at things uh, from how the eyes of a different uh, um, different way and recognizing, hey, this is a year that I have to change uh, and this is a year that is going to be bringing me financial stability. So Sagittarian, this is um, good. Um, you guys are ruled by Jupiter. Um, this um, timeline is ruled by love and money. Um, so let's go in your reading. Remember to choose a um, crystal um, below this reading at the end of the reading that's where you can pick up your crystal okay so choose a crystal and uh, um, work with the crystal in order to resolve whatever issue is coming up look at the crystal and see which one collaborates with you okay so it's about choosing your crystal for um, the Taurus timeline so let's look at the work the first week. The first week is about judgment, okay? And whenever we get the energy of judgment, that means uh, some sort of unconventional situation is going to be coming out, okay? So judgment is about breakthroughs, breakthroughs, some sort of a breakthrough, some sort of information is going to be coming in. And when we receive the energy of judgment, it is... Uh, um, emotional information that could be coming out because this is a breakthrough that is coming through and it has something to do with um, Pluto and when we think about planet Pluto we have to deal with the scorpions and the Pisces I don't know why they say the Pisces but it's more of the scorpions so some sort of a breakthrough is coming out, okay? Whatever is happening and transpiring, there is a judgment call and some sort of an information is going to be coming out in the week of April 20th till the 26th. So some sort of an information is going to be coming out. Let's see what that information is. So older women, there is some sort of a information that is going to be coming out, and a whole lot of conflicts, a whole lot of conflicts. So um, this judgment call has to do with a scorpion could have brought out, an old scorpion woman could have brought out a whole lot of information that people were not aware of. Whoever the scorpion woman is and whatever is transpiring, I see a lot of you, um, Sagittarian, could be having um, some sort of a fits because an old scorpion woman, um, and you have some sort of a conflicts and some sort of a communication is as if the week of April 20th to 26th, a scorpion woman is going to be um, bringing out some sort of a information that is going to be creating some sort of a um, problem for you, um, Sagittarian. So Sagittarian, you got to be aware of this. Uh, it is a situation where you could be having some sort of a problem with your wife, Sagittarian, or you could be having some sort of a problem with a sister or with your grandmother or with your mother. So this is a situation where the week of April 28th until April 26th, some sort of a um, um, conflicts. Uh, you see the energy of the whip, conflicts, conflicts. And it has to do with some sort of information that a scorpion have brought out. Whoever the scorpion is and whatever the scorpion is doing, 
um, this uh, scorpion has brought out some sort of a information that is going to be creating a, a whole lot of conflicts for you, Sagittarian. So a lot of you, Sagittarian, it could be your child that is a scorpion. But whatever is transpiring, Pluto, um, this scorpion um, brought out information. This scorpion is governed by Pluto. And this scorpion is bringing out a whole lot of information. And uh, this information... People are going to be recognizing something in the second week. As we move to the second week, the second week is from April 27th until May 3rd. April 27th until May 3rd. And I see a lot of worries for you, Sagittarian, a lot of worries because whatever the information that this older woman is bringing is going to be creating a lot of worries and it has to do with a whole lot of money, a whole lot of money. So Sagittarian, um, whatever is happening and transpiring, I see um, that you Sagittarian are really, really, really going to be caught up in a situation where an Aries and you Sagittarian and a Capricorn is going to be, because the energy of the devil is about Mars and it is about a whole lot of money at the workplace. And whoever the Scorpion is in the first week, uh, brought out some sort of an information there was some sort of a situation some sort of a breakthrough and a scorpion brought out some information and recognized that you sagittarian are connected with a huge fraud a whole lot of money um at the workplace whether you got this money via um falsifying documentation or you got this money um via bonus however you got this money it was not good and you could have worked with a Aries to get this money or you could have paid the Aries this money. So some sort of a payment that you Sagittarian have made, they have information and documentation that you Sagittarian have made some sort of a huge payment um, to get some sort of a data and information and it's all coming out something to do with a lot of money it has to do with bonus it has to do with um a falsifying data documentation it has to do with uh, um ed hunters where people pay um to get data documentation and you sagittarian they're now recognizing how you make a lot of money is by creating data and giving people people other people data and information and this is really sick um in the sense that you are not giving dead people data but you are giving life people data to to life people and this is wrong this is a, a sense of uh, you uh, you have mentally gone over a state uh, where you don't have the power to change another person's identity and to give another person someone else's identity. And they're going to be coming down on you. And I see that whoever the scorpion is, because this is a Pluto moment, and this Pluto moment is coming in and it is going to take you down because it's going to be releasing you and it's going to be stopping and, and uh, a whole lot of money that you were getting. Because if you notice, the dead, the, the, the devil is about release because now you're worried because of some sort of information that a scorpion woman I've, I've, uh, I've given out. Uh, whoever the scorpion woman is, uh, um, I've given out this information and make a breakthrough um, within a case or some sort of a situation that the scorpion woman, she's saving herself, okay? Um and, you know, whatever you have gone, I, I think that everyone around you is recognizing that you have gone too far. And whatever you have done, um, the scorpion woman is saving you some sort of information. The scorpion woman is going to be telling people, yes, I've paid her how much money in order to get the data and information for my child or the order and information and data for a family member. But the scorpion woman is going to be revealing your secret, how you make so much money and how you make your money. They're going to be saying um, how they paid a lot of money in order to get um, travel documents for different, different country, work permit and travel documents. So a bonus that you have acquired on the false pretend by um, shutting down um, people, mortgages, and uh, 
they created new mortgages in order to get big bonus and how you have been doing this for a couple of years. So a lot of people are going to be recognizing that you have also been selling documentation and data of live people and create you sell you you know as you sell information and take other people data and information um that is dormant that people don't use and they're going to be um giving this up and they're going to be now recognizing how you came on so much money. So I say a lot of worries for you Sagittarian um that is going to be coming up um businessmen is going to be worried and a lot of you Sagittarian women got caught up in a situation and you didn't get caught up in the situation you created the situation for yourself because it's something you have been doing and you thought you would have gotten away with it all right we're leaving that we're looking at the third week the third week is from May 4th until May 10th and we have the energy of the two of wands and it's Mars in Aries so um, some of you are looking for a job. I see a lot of you women, um, whatever the information that came out in the two first week, a lot of you women are going to be left in the third week, uh, um, feeling resourceful and is looking for a new job. Some of you who are looking for a new job, a new position, this is going to be offered to you. So, not all of you are going through this, only some of you, and especially um, the ones that has been creating a whole lot of issues and a whole lot of problems for other people. But um, people who are looking for a new job and you're applying for a new job, some of you could receive a contract in the week of uh, May 4th till May 10th. Okay, so May 4th till May 10th, if you were looking to relocate, a new house, you could be signing some sort of a new data. I see some sort of information is coming in. For some of you who had problems at the workplace where it comes to um, a lot of money, I see a lot of you are going to be resource, um, feeling resource, a resource of what you have done because it's as if some of you are going to be getting um, a situation where you need to pay back all of this money or we are going to be um, uh, creating a huge legal um, process. So whoever you are and whatever is going on, not all of you are going to be going through this. A lot of you are going to be recognizing how a lot of money was stolen, who stole a lot of money. A scorpion have a whole lot of data and information that is going to be a letting out. And I see... They're going to be recognizing that the Aries woman regret a situation. Whoever this Aries woman is regret a situation because this Aries woman is now being confronted of what she have done. It's as if this Aries woman, um, Mars in Aries, it's as if this Aries woman in the past have made some sort of a decision, selfish decision, and uh, now looking back, uh, um, this Aries woman is recognizing that she uh, made a selfish decision. Now, however, this Aries woman is connected to you, um, Sagittarian. I see that you, Sagittarian, could have brought this Aries woman in taking some sort of a documentation and information and taking money on the false pretend. And I see this Aries woman is now looking back and recognizing I should not have done that. So... It, there is a whole lot that is coming up and transpiring. A whole lot of you are going to be facing some sort of a situation where a lot of you are going to be recognizing that an Aries woman could have done you some real injustice. And this person is going to try and, uh, you know, get out of the situation and make some sort of a peace because this Aries woman recognized um, that you let her you gave her and you pay her off not to say something and this Aries woman is now going to be sitting down and reconsidering if uh, um they should make amends with whatever that was going on and tell the person what has happened and what has transpired so this is like some serious serious case that is going on um really really serious situation serious case that is going on and people um, need to recognize uh, um, what is happening and transpiring because a lot of you Sagittarian are in for some sort of a huge, huge awakening. The last week, the energy of the sun 
and they are going to be recognizing that uh, some sort of a, a letter was stolen. It's as if uh, um, an Aries woman is going to be recognizing uh, um, that a letter was stolen. I don't know how it is affecting you. Um, uh, you, um, you, uh, Sagittarian, but uh, Aries, they're going to be recognizing that a letter was stolen and it has to do with an Aries woman or some sort of a letter. An Aries woman has took some sort of a letter and this person is going to say, well, it is, um, the Sagittarian who asked me to take this letter, okay? It is the Sagittarian that asked me to take this letter. And I see an Aries is going to be giving up you, Sagittarian, and is going to be telling someone, listen, um, this Sagittarian asked me to take this letter, okay? And I see they're going to be recognizing the disaster that a lot of you have created, all the information is going to be coming out and they're going to be recognizing and they're not going to be finding out in the week of uh, May 11 until May 20th. Uh, um, they're going to be recognizing that a theft was created and a letter was stolen. And uh, you Sagittarian has something to do with a letter that was stolen and a letter that was taken. And it's as if this letter should have gone to an Aries so, or you ask this Aries to take a letter or take some sort of a information. And this Aries is going to be saying, the Sagittarian is the one that asked me to do it. So, um, yeah, Sagi, it is what it is. It is, as, and you know, um, for a lot of you Sagittarian, it is vice versa. Okay. So you got to understand readings or vice versa. Okay. But a lot of you are some sort of an enemy and, your enemy is going to be revealed in the, in the week of May um, 11 till May 20th. Your enemy is going to be revealed because they're going to be um, catching this person. They're definitely going to be catching this person because they're going to be recognizing um, what this person have done. So it's as if um, a lot of you um, Sagittarians send some sort of a letter to an Aries uh, person house to make it look as if this Aries have done it. But they're going to be tracking back your EP address and recognize that you Sagittarians were the one who did it. It is a sick joke and you need to stop this, um, Sagi, because something is mentally unstable and you're listening to me because you're always following and listening to me. You need to look for mental health because there is some problems that is going on. For the rest of you Sagittarians, you know, because I have Sagittarian in my birth chart, um, but whoever you are, you have gone too far and a lot of people are now giving you up and showing you up because they are now recognizing that you have pulled them in a spiral, a down, a down, um, a download spiral. And in this Taurus timeline, um, it's as if the Tauruses, I don't know what you had co-create with a Taurus, some of you, but a Taurus is going to show you up. And this is a timeline when you're seeing that all of these things are happening and a Taurus is showing up you, Sagittarian, because the beginning of the timeline is judgment because breakthrough, some sort of information, a Scorpion woman gave up some sort of information about you, Sagittarian, and a whole lot of money and how you make your money. And I see you, Sagittarian are very worried. Then we recognize that an Aries woman now is remorse over getting money. You Sagittarian have paid an Aries woman a whole lot of money. And this was like a hush, hush money. Or um, you um, gave a Sagittarian a whole lot of money in order to steal a letter. And now um, did Sag this woman is now definitely saying, hey, I'm not taking this fall. I'm not taking this fall. And this, uh, and the truth is going to be coming out in the week of May 11 to, to May 20th. So, um, this is, this, these, these season reading is very, very, um, significant, ladies and gentlemen, because I see that the, um, you know, why they have asked me to do the season reading. This season reading is like, the full moon reading, whatever is happening and transpiring, this season reading is as if there are full moon readings that 
give up information and reveal. So I see the energy of the sun. A lot of you who um, your house was broken in, um, it has to do with a very jealous woman. It was a very jealous woman. And Sagittarian, you um, had, you are the one that um, let someone broke in the house of an Aries in order to get a letter. They're going to be putting the pieces together. They're going to be telling that you Sagittarians were the one who collaborated to get someone to break in the house of an Aries in order to receive and take a letter because you wanted the address um, of this person and you broke in the house and you sent someone to break in a house. Jesus, I don't know who this is for, Sagittarian. Don't hit me, but this is something that is going to come out and a lot of you, Sagittarian, it could be happening to you. I gotta go. I do love you guys. <laughs> Thumbs up. Um, it's going to be a heavy, heavy Taurus season for you, Sagittarian. Um, but I, you know, go and choose one of the crystal and that will help you to get through this season. I gotta go now.